Hi. <laughs> I am so glad to finally see you. <laughs> Did you know I've been looking for you all night long? Yeah. I was beginning to be afraid that maybe you didn't come or you left the party a bit early or maybe that you were avoiding me. I'm just kidding. I know you would never do that. I just saw you from across the room, just the top of your head, just your scalp, just running away, retreating to this little corner over here, and I knew I had to come over and say hi. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> Were you trying to get away from the party for a minute? Yeah, I got it. It's pretty insane this year, right? Yeah, the music is just so loud, and the lights and decorations are really pretty, but it kind of makes you wonder if maybe that's why we didn't get a holiday bonus? <laughs> just a thought is all. Anyway, we definitely should take as much advantage as possible, since this might be where our bonuses went. So, I brought some cider for you and me to share. <laughs> I wasn't sure how much you would want, so I just brought the whole bottle, if that's okay. Yeah, I didn't bring any glasses, so I figured you and I could just drink straight out the bottle together. Yeah, I really don't mind. Go ahead, take a sip. None for you? You sure? Okay. Well, if you change your mind and decide you want some, just let me know, okay? Do you like my outfit? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to choose something that was kind of Christmassy without being too over the top, maybe. So I have this cute green satin blouse that I thought was so comfy and so cute. And then I have these cute little Santa earrings that I got at the craft store. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think these are so cute? I love them. I just love this time of year. <laughs> I even got this little Santa hat at the store. Yeah, it was the last one they had in stock, so it wouldn't be my first choice. I'm not a huge fan of sequins and things like that. And it says Foxy on it. <laughs> Can you remember the last time you described something as Foxy? Me neither. Besides, like, an actual fox. What do you think? Do you think I should wear it, or is it too much, do you think? Hmm? I'll take it off for now. Maybe later, if more people start breaking out the Santa hats when everyone's had a few glasses of eggnog, maybe then I'll put this bad boy on. <laughs> oh, gosh. I am so glad to see you here. I really am. I just love this time of year. Yeah. I know it's a little bit crazy out there, but to me, there is nothing better than a cozy night in with somebody you like. <laughs> and the presents, oh my gosh, I love buying presents for everyone. Actually, I have a little bit of a confession to make. Mm -hmm. Just a little one. Somebody has been a little bit naughty this year. Yeah. Even though I've been Christmas shopping several times this year, and I've gotten presents for everyone else, every time I go out, I just can't seem to find something that suits you. Yeah. You think it would be really easy to shop for you, since I know pretty much everything about you, but apparently not. So, I thought tonight I would make a list, check it twice, and get you a nice Christmas present. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything you wanted this year? Oh, don't be shy. You can tell me. Um, and there's no spending limit either, not with you. <laughs> so don't be shy, tell me what you want for Christmas, okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, 
that's a good one. That's a good one. That suits you really well. Uh, kicking myself for not thinking of that earlier. Anything else? Mm hmm. What else? Okay. Oof. You have to be careful with that last one. You could take somebody's eye out with that. Everything else, though, is duly noted. I will get back to you on the morning of the 25th. You know what? While I have my handy dandy little notebook out, let me ask you a few more questions, if that's okay. Just some questions that I like to know about everybody, you know? Since I want to give everybody a very special Christmas when I can. Alright, so what is your favorite Christmas movie? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've heard of that one before. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday treat? Like um, gingerbread or snickerdoodles? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I might be able to make that one at home, just saying. I am pretty good at baking, if I do say so myself. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday drink? Yeah? For me, I like to stick with the classics. Yeah. Just a glass of eggnog, or maybe something with cranberry juice if we're feeling a little bit extra. <laughs> Alright, what else do I need to know? Hmm. Where do you usually spend Christmas? Okay makes sense. You do celebrate Christmas, right? I mean, I know you're at this party and all, but you don't necessarily have to celebrate Christmas to come here, so I figured I should just double check. Okay, noting that down. Okay. All right, and when it comes to presents, do you usually open them on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, personally, I've always found it so weird when people open their presents on Christmas Day. Yeah, my family has always done it on Christmas Eve. And it just, the idea of waiting that long, I don't know if I could do it. Finally, the most important question for Christmas dinner, turkey or ham? Which one do you like? Okay. You know, I don't think I would have pecked you for that. <laughs> I'm glad I know now though. Mm -hmm. With this information here, this Christmas and every Christmas after should be absolutely amazing for you. If I have anything to do with it, of course. <laughs> you know, now that I've asked you what you want for Christmas, I can't help but notice that you haven't gotten anything for me yet. Mm -hmm. So, I was thinking Maybe for Christmas, you could just let me, um, touch your face just for a bit, okay? I just want to sort of trace and admire your features just for a little bit. I won't even make you wait or anything. We can just do it right here in the corner of the party, huh? How does that sound? Is that okay if I touch your face? You'll let me? Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. You know, you always look so nice at work, but I don't want to be inappropriate, so I don't usually say anything. But now that we're here and we've had some cider, <laughs> maybe I've had a little bit of eggnog, it feels okay. I'm so happy. Just, oh, your nose is so cute. It reminds me of Rudolph. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way, in that it looks like your nose could save Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and your eyes. You have such beautiful eyes, you really do. 
And right now, with the lights all hung up, it looks like your eyes are twinkling. Yeah. It looks like they're full of starlight. And it's really so, so beautiful. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see. You know what else I love about you? I think your hair is so absolutely lovely. It's as soft as Santa's coat. Mm hmm Not that I've ever felt it before, but those small Santas seem to have pretty comfy coats, don't you think? With the fur lining the lapel. And the hat, it looks so cozy and nice for winter. And I think your hair might be just like that. It must be like wearing a nice, soft hat all the time. How <laughs> oh, you have the best hair. Oh, and your cheeks. Your cheeks are so cute. Oh, they're all soft and flushed from the winter air. Did you go outside recently? Yeah, I can tell. It's a little bit chilly out there. So make sure you stay warm, okay? Make sure you always wear a hat, a scarf, a jacket. Whatever you need to stay warm. And if you ever find yourself without a hat or mittens or anything like that, just come to me. I keep extras in my car. And I will help you stay perfectly warm. Oh, thank you so much for letting me do this. I mean it. You really have the loveliest face. This is the best Christmas present I could have ever asked for. <laughs> I can only hope whatever I end up giving you is just as good for you as this is for me. I'm pretty confident with all the things I know about you and with the little list you gave me just now. I think I should be able to get something for you. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah. I'm going Christmas shopping one more time tomorrow, so I will be sure to bring it by your house before Christmas. That way you can open it on Christmas morning, Christmas Eve, <laughs> whenever you would like. Though again, I think Christmas Eve is probably the best time to do that. And maybe I can even be there. And I can watch your eyes light up in joy as you open your present. That would make me so, so happy. <laughs> Just doing this is making me very happy right now. This is the best Christmas present ever. You know, now that I'm taking a closer look at them, I know you were just outside. Um, do your lips feel a little bit chapped? They look kind of dry. It's okay. I know how hard it can be to stay hydrated in the dry winter air. But I have just the thing for that. Mm -hmm. I have this cute little snowman. And guess what? He's not just a snowman. He is also lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of scoop the lip balm out of his bottom like that. <laughs> Feels a little bit inappropriate to me, but hey, it works perfectly well. And isn't the package just so, so cute? Look at him. <laughs> I just love snowmen. My favorite thing is that day when it snows and all the kids go outside and they're so excited and they build snowmen all around the neighborhood. Yeah, just seeing everybody's different takes on snowmen and seeing which ones last the longest. It's one of my favorite things. It's so charming and cute. All right, hold still. I'm just going to put on a little bit of lip Just like that, making sure you don't have chapped, 
dry lips anymore. Good, good, good. <laughs> there. Now, let's just do one more coat for good luck. Yeah. I want to make sure your lips stay nice and moisturized through the rest of the night. It's really no problem. Don't worry about it. I want to keep this face looking as good as it always does at work. <laughs> on just a bit more, just a little bit more, okay? Thank you for staying so nice and still for me. You really are too kind. <laughs> there we go. Now you look absolutely perfect. <laughs> hey, I have one more Christmas present request. Don't worry. It's something really easy that you should be able to give me without any problems at all, I promise. And it's... Oh, look at this. Look at this here. I have some mistletoe on hand. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a pine cone and an apple. But I think this counts, doesn't it? I can just dangle it above us like that. Does that count, do you think? I don't know. Either way, if you could give me a little Christmas kiss just on the cheek, that would make me so, so happy. <laughs> Come on, just a little one, please. Underneath the mistletoe. Yeah? <laughs> I'll give you one, too. Just turn your cheek just like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Wish we could do that during the day at work, but that might be frowned upon. Yeah, you know, just something about being under the mistletoe. It makes you want to do crazy things. Oh, well, that was very, very lovely of you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me touch your face, give it a little kiss. That just made me so, so happy really given me the best Christmas ever. <laughs> anyway, it looks like the party's winding down, isn't it? Hmm. I'm so sad our evening has to end here, but like I said, I will see you in a day or two with the best Christmas present ever. Yeah. So you just wait patiently and I promise I will find something absolutely perfect for you. Just you wait. In the meantime, don't tell HR about this, probably. <laughs> and I will see you soon. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm so glad I got to spend some time with you at this party. <laughs>